Hi everyone, welcome to week eight of Nutrition Bites. So today I am going to present to you a recipe for Mexican kale salad. So we'll talk a little bit about the ingredients and then we'll talk about some ways to prepare kale, uh, some other ways to use kale in your cooking, the benefits of dark leafy green vegetables, a little bit about nitrate, and then I'll present the weekly challenge. All right, so here is the recipe for Mexican kale salad. Um, there's lots of ways you could make this differently by swapping out the vegetables, the beans. Um, so I encourage you to have fun with it and try uh, what you enjoy. All right, so here are some tips on how to prepare curly kale. Now, curly kale is the standard one that you see, um, looks a little bit like this picture. So here are the steps to prepare it so that it tastes um, the best. So first, wash the leaves thoroughly, uh, then remove the leaves from the stems. Uh, you can either cut or chop or tear the leaves into smaller pieces. And then this is the key. So add one to two tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil. And then you actually massage the kale gently with your hands for a few minutes uh, or until the leaves are noticeably softer. So you're massaging the olive oil or avocado oil into the kale and this really helps to make kale salads a lot more enjoyable. Uh, the reason is that it helps to soften it, kind of like pre-digests it a little bit if you will, um, and really is the trick to making a great kale salad. Now there are other types of kale that you can use that are a little bit softer so you don't necessarily have to do the massaging and this would be baby kale, it looks a little bit like spinach, uh, then there's dinosaur kale and Chinese kale. All right, so if kale salads are not for you, there's still plenty of other ways that you can use kale in your cooking. So the first is to add it into soups. Uh, you can saute it in olive oil with a little salt you can blend it into smoothies. Um, I like to do it frozen, but you can also blend it in fresh. You can toss it with pasta. You can add it to a tofu scramble. You can blend it into a pasta sauce to kind of help hide it. Uh, you can make kale chips or you can make kale pesto. And I will link recipes for how to do that in the article version. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the benefits of dark leafy green vegetables. So. This uh, includes uh, like kale, spinach, bok choy, arugula, collard greens, mustard greens, and Swiss chard. Now, all of these dark leafy green vegetables have similar health benefits and nutrient composition. So they all are a great source of insoluble fiber. They also are a good source of vitamins like A, B, C, E, and K. And they also are a great source of minerals like calcium, magnesium, and iron. They're full of antioxidants, and they're also really low in calories and low on the glycemic index, which means that they're very low in carbohydrates. Now, one of the reasons why dark leafy green vegetables are so great is that they have been correlated uh, to help lower blood pressure. And the reason that they are able to do this is because of a compound called nitrate. So nitrate is a nitrogen containing compound that is found in green leafy vegetables, like spinach, kale, etc. So when we eat those vegetables that have nitrate, once it's in our mouth and in our stomach, bacteria that reside there convert the nitrate into nitrite. And as the digestive process continues on, nitrite is then converted into nitric oxide, which you might've heard of before, once it's in the blood and tissues. And this is the compound that helps to decrease blood pressure by dilating or widening the vessels. So if you look at the image, um, this would be a normal blood vessel, but once that nitric oxide hits the blood vessels, it helps to widen and make that opening uh, more wide. So this is all happening because we consumed those dark, griefy lean vegetables that have the nitrate in them that's eventually converted down the chain into nitric oxide. All right, so as you can see, there are a ton of health benefits to eating kale and other dark green leafy vegetables. So because of that, I want you to aim to try one new dark griefy lean vegetable that you haven't had before. Again, I'm gonna link several recipes in the article version of 
this video. So there's lots of different ways that you can experiment with it. But I also want to encourage you to do some of your own Googling and see if you can find recipes on how to prepare mustard greens or how to prepare spinach. Um, I think it's really fun to experiment in the kitchen and I want to encourage you guys to do that. But again, the goal for this week is to just try one new dark green leafy vegetable that you haven't had before. And that is all I have for you today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all again next week.